Hi, my name is Gavin Farrington and I'm a wedding photographer in Northern California. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, one of the coolest things about Lightroom 6. If you just upgraded, you're probably excited to take advantage of the new performance benefits from the GPU acceleration. Um, and I just wanted to show you how to do that. So first off, if your machine is relatively recent, then chances are Lightroom has already turned on GPU acceleration. But if you'd like to know for sure, you can go to Edit. Oops. Preferences, go over to the new performance tab, and then look for this box to be checked. Now I have mine disabled deliberately so I can show you, uh, you know, what to look for. Note that anytime you make a change to this, turning it on or off, you have to restart Lightroom before that change will take effect. Just hitting OK will take you back to Lightroom. You can keep working, but you will have, you, you won't have actually changed this setting until Lightroom restarts. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll pause the video so you don't have to sit through it, and I'll be right back. So here we are, we're back, and as you can see by going to Edit Preferences Performance once again, this is turned on and it shows the name of the video card that I have installed. Um, it's slightly outdated, but what, once upon a time it was a pretty muscly um, gaming uh, gaming card. still is, it's not bad, but it's not the you know best of the best anymore. Um, it's worth mentioning though that I also have a, a, a late 2013 era MacBook Pro which has a retina, dis retina display and the integrated Intel Iris graphics. Um, you do not need to have a monstrous gaming video card in order to take advantage of the benefits that you'll see here. Um, in fact, uh, um, the load on the video card is so low that I see absolutely no difference between doing it on this big discrete gaming solution and the integrated graphics in my MacBook Pro. Um, really, any form of reasonable accelerated graphics is going to give you a fantastic experience, so there's absolutely no reason to go throwing a ton of money um, at big hardware for this. It's also worth mentioning now that Lightroom is going to depend heavily on the graphics driver. Now this is something you may not be accustomed to. If you have grown up uh, a PC gamer, um, you'll be very familiar with the idea of updating graphics drivers in order to get the best performance and bug fixes and things out of your games. That is going to apply for Lightroom at this point now, and that may be unfamiliar to some of you, um, you know, if uh, you're really only accustomed to using your computer in a work capacity. Um, if you encounter any kind of glitches, crashes, uh, weird performance things, uh, uh, glitches on the screen, anything that seems strange, one of the first things you'll want to try now that you're on Lightroom 6 with the GPU acceleration is going to either NVIDIA or ATI or Intel as the case may be and finding the latest graphics driver for your hardware um, and updating to that. I have personally seen crashes that have been caused by NVIDIA drivers that are less than three months old that are solved by the driver that was one month old. So don't don't assume that just because the driver is, you know, this, uh, you know, within the last few months, that that automatically means it should work. It's not always the case. Um, it's a little bit of extra work, but I think you'll see that the payoff is complete, is is worth it. I'm going to turn off the graphics acceleration right now on Lightroom, and I'm going to do a little bit of work on this one image that you see here, and then I'm going to turn it back on and do a little bit more work just so you can see what the benefits are, and then I'll explain who's going to really benefit even more than some others. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn this off, restart, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, and the uh, GPU acceleration has been disabled. It's important to understand that GPU acceleration only impacts interactivity performance in the develop module. It's not going to help you with things like um, outputting JPEGs, building previews, doing DNG conversions, um, scrolling in the library module, any of that stuff. At this point in Lightroom 6, it only impacts the interactivity, you know, basically using sliders and tools here in the develop module. So, with it turned off, you can see that, you know, it's reasonably responsive. It gets a little bit, there's a little bit of a stutter there as I move this slider back and forth. Um, when I put this tool on the screen and I start to drag it around, it's, you know, it keeps up, it's usable, but it's not a sort of this buttery, smooth, smooth experience that you would help for, right? Same with this tool here. And this um, sort of jerkiness that you're seeing gets even worse as the resolution of your display increases. So for anyone who's on, say, the 5K iMacs or using 4K screens on their desktop, um, the performance is terrible, frankly. So you're going to really benefit from this. I'm going to, right now, I'm going to delete these tools, and I'm going to uh, restart Lightroom, and then I'll show you how it performs with the GPU acceleration enabled. 
Okay, here we are and the GPU acceleration has been enabled and I'm going to grab these and just look at how buttery smooth that reset reaction is. It's very, very nice. Um, I can pull up some of these tools. You can see how smoothly they are, the interact, they move around with the interactivity. Here we are with the oval and you can see I'm changing the size of it and things and just like, uh, it just feels like a very natural, very easy process. A lot of that stutteriness is gone. So, that's where the GPU acceleration pays off in this version of uh, Lightroom 6.0 as I record this. Um, I hope that's been helpful. If you want to follow some of my additional tips, look for protogtech.com, or you can check out my work at gavinfarrington.com. Enjoy!